Hi guys, it's Christy from World School Chronicles. Um, today I want to talk to you about uh, making money on the road. A lot of people ask about this and it's a big concern. Um, because how do you fund your travels? So um, I've been traveling full time and world schooling for uh, almost six years. In May it will be six years since we've taken off. Um, and so there's a lot of things that I do to make money online. Um, but so you can find a company that will hire you remotely, depending on your skills. Um, or you can um, do different things along the way to make money. And that's kind of what I do. So um, um, a remote job, of course, would be more stable and probably better income. Um, but I like the way that we do things. It gives me more freedom and I'm pretty creative and I like using my creativity. So, um, so you need to think about what your skills are. Everybody has skills and everybody's skills are different. So my skills won't be the same as yours. So the things that I've done for to make money on the road might not be the same things that you would like to do or could do because of your skill sets. So for, for instance, let's say you have a medical background, you have different skills than somebody who has an arts background. So you need to think about your skills and get creative about how you can make those skills work for you um, while you're on the road. Um, and at first it might be difficult to think about ways that you can make them work for you, but once you start to think creatively and a little bit outside the box, it gets easier as time goes on. Um, so, um, so some of the things that you can do um, is you can teach English overseas. It's fairly easy to get into. Um, a lot of the schools would like you to have a TOEFL or a TESOL certification, and you can do that online. Um, and a lot of them ask that you have a bachelor a bachelor's degree of any any um, focus. Um, and, but once you've gotten the job, it's really easy. And, um, so you can find, uh, teaching, teaching jobs online. Um, a good place to start is Dave's ESL Cafe and it's Dave's ESL Cafe.com and they have, um, job boards where companies post job listings and they have um, ideas, an idea bank for, for activities and things for your classes, all kinds of stuff if that's something that interests you. Um, one thing to make sure of is that you look over your contract before you sign it and make sure that everything's in there that you need or would like in your contract. Um, another thing you can do is you can teach classes online. You can teach any topic that you're good at so you could teach math or you could teach science you could teach programming you could teach coding you could teach English Spanish Portuguese anything that you're good at um, and a good place to start with that is buddyschool.com you set up a, a tutor account and you set your own prices and normally when you first start I would start at a lower price of you know ten dollars an hour and then after a few months when you've got some more some experience and you've got students who can verify that you're a good teacher you can raise your rates um, and I did I've done that over the years um, and it's done really well for me um, another thing that you can do if you're interested is um, I do uh, uh, foreign currency exchange online and it's really easy and I kind of enjoy it so and it makes me a bit of money and um, yeah so there's different sites for that but if you if you look up Forex online you'll you'll find a bunch of them um, so there's all kinds of things you can do you can do online businesses there's multi-level marketing like Plexus and Unique and I don't know, it works. There's so many of them and um, that would allow you to travel as well. Um, you just have to find something that you like and that you're good at and go. Um, so some of the things over the last six years that I've done to make money while 
we were traveling. So um, I've tutored kids in English, math, um, science, uh, things like that um, to in richer neighborhoods. Um, I've also tutored university students because in some of the countries that we've been to, um, the developing countries, the university students are at a high school level and so, and I've taught my kids high school, so um, I have tutored those. Um, I've also taught preschool for like an English preschool um, in my house. Um, I've I've gone around and taken photos on my phone of art from local artists and I've sold those on Etsy and I've taken a percentage of what they've sold for um, and given the artist the rest so they actually get a fair amount for their art as opposed to um, you know selling it on the beach for three dollars um, things like that uh, we've made oh sorry we've made jewelry out of um, things we find on the beach like uh, beach glass and things like that we've made purses out of old uh, potato chip bags and sold those online um, we have um, I've taken photos with my SLR camera and I've sold photos on the beach of kite surfers and um, mostly people who are doing, you know, um, sports on the water that can't take their own photos of themselves doing stuff. So I've taken photos and then approached them later and said, hey, I took this really awesome photo of you. Are you interested? And I had a little card printed up that had my, my prices and some samples. And so I was selling three pictures for $50. And it's not a lot, but it's not bad. And uh, I had a SD card, and I would just pop the, S the mini SD into my uh, tablet, and then I would email them the pictures once I've gotten the cash. Um, and I've done that. Um, we've bought um, clothing and jewelry and, and electronics, cell phones and tablets and stuff online for cheap, and then sold them to um, people who lived in our barrio that can't order online because they don't have a credit card or they don't have a bank account or whatever. Um, I've bought motorcycles um, in developing countries and then sold them to locals. Um, I've, um, yeah, so I've done a lot of things. Um, I've also um, sold underwear, <laughs> used underwear. Um, but if, if it works, why not, you know? Um, so yeah, we've done a lot of stuff and um, one of the things is I know, um, I know that I need, you know, we live on a, a very minimal budget, which helps as well. And I don't really stress about money too much because I always know that something will work out like in six years we've never been sleeping on a street we've never been sleeping under a bridge we've never you know um, gone hungry or anything like that so normally something works out and it might not be the way that we planned it to work out but it works out so um, I don't really stress about the cash um, one thing that I do try to do though is wherever we are I try and make some money in local currency so that money that I have in my account can stay there for emergencies and we try and live off of what we can make in local currency. Um, and so one of the things to remember though when you're trying to make money on the road is you can't be taking jobs from locals. So I don't think about, you know, I could work in a restaurant or I could work in a bar because a lot of them won't hire because you're not legally there to work. You're there as a tourist. Um, so yeah, I, we kind of do things on the quiet and it works for us. Um, once again, Christy from World School Chronicles and thanks so much.